You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of ABK Media Group, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County every day at 9 a.m. Southern living at its best. Good morning, good morning all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett land. It's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County. It's right now, it's about 50 degrees, going up to a high about 55. So pretty nice, pretty nice. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today is Tuesday, January 7th. Yep, yep, it's Tuesday, guys. We're in the seventh day of January. I promise I'm not going to say that every day. I'm not going to say this is day number seven, this is day number, I'm not going to do that every day. I'm not going to do that every day. But how are you? How's everything going today? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, you know, I started out, I had a technical glitch this morning, but I got it fixed. Had a technical got it fixed. That's the one thing about technology, right? Can't live with it. Can't live without it. Can't live with it. Can't live without it. I know. I know. I know. But anyway, I got a short show today because I have a meeting, so I just want to give you some news. I'm going to give you horoscopes because, you know, I got to gotta bring you horoscopes. I got to tell you guys, though. So, you know, the show is going to be going to 10 o'clock uh, a.m. starting next Monday. So I'll be on at 10 a.m. on Mondays. And I'm still trying to figure out, do I do the horoscopes? I, so I don't know. You guys need to let me know. Nobody has said anything yet. Do you like that? My daughter told me. She's like, I really like the horoscopes. <laughs> so she has told me that she liked the horoscopes. But there are thousands of you listening, listening to me around the world. Shoot me an email, Audrey, at Good Morning Gwinnett to say, Audrey, just put in the, just in the subject. Keep the horoscopes. Keep the horoscopes. I need to know. So next, the next, the way this show is going to be set up moving forward is going to be um, Monday and Wednesday. I'll be just, it'll just be me doing the show. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm going to have community leaders on the show. I'm excited about that. Um, I set up a special something for entrepreneurs um, over at Noise Media. So Noise Media is my rebranded company. I'm excited about the rebranding of the company. Last year was so funny. Okay, I rebranded last year, right, to ABK Media Group. And I was excited about that, but I felt like I felt like it didn't have like personality, like ABK Media Group. Those are my initials, but I felt like it didn't have personality, right? I felt like the brand didn't have personality, and I wanted a brand with personality. And so, I uh, um I decided, you know what? I need something that's like that that says something and to me noise says something so that's why i got the name noise media um noise media but yeah so that's the that's the new format so next week i'll be on at 10 a.m um, i don't know if i'm gonna have guests yet because we haven't booked anybody as of you know it's not hard to book anybody let me just say that but tuesdays and thursdays is gonna be guest reviews 11 o'clock on thursday still stays the same but monday um tuesday and wednesday is going to be at 10 a.m versus 9 a.m all right so listen let's go ahead and get on to the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer michael michael thyssen for today tuesday january 7th we'll kick it off like we always do with aries aries avoid letting children friend and friends borrow get involved in competitive sports friends will appreciate your attention and play for nature you may find that you can be the recipient recipient of valuable information if you're willing to be a good listener it's nothing like being a good listener aries yep good listeners make good communicators well that's not necessarily true i'm a good listener i think i'm a pretty decent communicator my one of my gifts the gift of listening Taurus, take care when dealing with older relatives. Believe in yourself, and so will those who count. Your money making opportunities will flourish. Mm, I get excited anytime I see money making opportunities. I get excited about that. So you may have some great money making opportunities today, um, Taurus, and they're gonna flourish. Gemini, concentrate on getting ahead financially. Let your personal life settle down for a while. Real estate investments will be profitable. Opportunities will develop through those you encounter while attending organizational events. So if you want some opportunities to develop today, Gemini, you got to get out and you got to attend some events. Attend some events. Cancer, work quietly on your own. Don't let children or elders put demands on your time. Club memberships and donations can be expensive and prove unnecessary. Hmm... Don't let children or elders put demands on your time. Easily said than done. Easily said than done. Uh, Leo, 
Be honest with yourself before getting involved with someone who is likely to lead you on. You can solidify your relationship if you plan a special evening with your mate. You should want to feel good about yourself and your goals. Yeah, feel good about yourself, Leo, and your goals. If you set, listen, I haven't even did my goals yet. I got like one goal down. I haven't did my, I normally do like a vision board every year, but I'm doing the vision book this year. I'm doing a vision book. One, last year, I only had one one vision. So I had a vision sheet. Um, this year I'm doing a vision book because I got big visions. I got big visions for 2020, baby. Um, Virgo, you can look around for the right place and enlist some of your friends to help you move. Don't expect new acquaintances to be completely honest about themselves. You can find yourself having problems with coworkers or employees, employers. All right, Virgo, watch out for the, the uh, new acquaintances. It may be a snake in the grass. I'm just saying. All right, I'll be back after this time to give you more of the Harvest Coast brought to you by Noted Astrologer Michael Thyssen. You're listening to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. To the Good Morning with Next Show. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you your daily horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Mike Tyson. And we're going to pick it up with Libra. Libra, traffic will be busier than you anticipated. So try to get a head start if you have made plans to travel. Face any emotional problems head on to avoid situations getting out of hand. Physical activity will help you diffuse your frustrations. I need to go do some kickboxing or something. I'm frustrated and I need to get it out. Maybe I need to go to the gym today. Can't go. Got other things I got to do. All right, Scorpio, eliminate situations that are no longer to your advantage. Opportunities to upgrade your living standards will come through your lover or through joint financial ventures, financial investments. You will find that you are able to clear up a number of small but important details. It's the little, it's the, the devils are in the little tiny details. 
that's why I don't like event planning because it's too many little tiny details. Sagittarius, be extra careful with your valuables. Loss and theft are evident today. Stomach problems could prevail if you haven't been watching your diet. Make arrangements to spend quality time together. Listen, watch your diet. Can't be afforded to get sick right now, Scorpio. Sagittarius, you got a lot of work to do. So watch your diet. Make sure your stomach is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Capricorn, your pursuits may end up being fruitless. Social evenings at your place will be highly successful. Travel will enhance romance and adventure. Okay, Cap, one, find some romance and adventure. Do a little traveling. Call a travel agent right now. Aquarius, financial limitations will not be as adverse as they appear. Don't get intimately involved with a coworker. Mm. Let me tell you something, Aquarius. You got to work with them. Don't get intimately involved with them because you got to see them every single day. Every day. That's the one thing about getting involved with office romances. You got to see them every day. If a person works at your job, you don't want to do that because when things go bad, you still got to see that person every single day. I'm just saying. You have been watching your spending habits and you may be... You may have been neglecting your duties. All right. Don't neglect your duties either. And my fellow fish Pisces, find out all you can. Secret enemies may lead you astray. Don't let coworkers interfere with your objectives. Take your time. Taking my time today. I'm not going to rush anything. I'm going to take my time. Take my time. All right. That's the horoscopes. Uh, Brought to you by Noah, the astrologer, Michael Thoughts. And I'll be back again tomorrow. 9 a.m. to bring you more of the horoscopes. But until then, let's move on to some news you can use. All right, so you know that uh, the state of the county is coming up. Yep, the state of the county is coming up. It's going to be coming up on um, February up in the Energy Center, 11.30 p.m., and that's located at 64 Sugarloaf Parkway. Um, Commissioner uh, Nash is going to be talking about the vision for 2020. I went last year. Uh, it was pretty interesting. It was like, there was a lot of people there. Close to 700 people attended last year. The address, space is limited. There were a lot of people there. Um, if you want to go, you can contact the, uh, you can register at GwinnettTasteOfTheCounty.com. Chamber members is $75. Non-chamber members is $100. Group tables and relationships are available. Yep, 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 yep. So if you want to go to that, that's going to be 1130, February 12th. Um until 1 15 p.m they had lunch so it was pretty nice that part my food was good it's gonna be at the infinite energy center located 6400 sugarloaf parkway because seating is limited you may want to go ahead and register now because they may run out seats so again to register for that is uh gwinnett taste of the county.com tickets for chamber members that's gwinnett chamber 75 dollars and non-chamber members is 100 dollars. yeah it's good networking opportunity Yep, there was this woman there. She knows everybody. And I said to her, there was somebody I wanted to meet. She knows everybody. When I tell you, she, and everybody knows her. Not just that she knows everybody, but everybody knows her. But um, there was this person I wanted to meet. And I said to her, I said, hey, I um, I want to meet this person, right? <laughs> she took me straight to the person. Because I didn't know what the person looked like. I told her the name of the person. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah. She grabbed me by the arm and walked me around. And she introduced me to that person. It was hilarious. I was like, but everybody knew her. She knew everybody, but they also knew her. I thought that was pretty funny. Pretty good, though, but pretty funny. Now, look, let me tell y'all something I tell about this story right here. So, um, um, if you are looking to get a government contract, here's an opportunity for you to just find out. Well, here's a, here's a story today in the AG, AJC. So, annual contract for paper products in Gwinnett totals five. $524,667. Now, why am I talking about this particular story? Because if you are a small business owner, the government buys toilet paper and paper towels from somebody, from a company. That company then gets a contract with the government and the government pays some money. Now, one of my goals this year was to figure out how to get a government contract. So I am getting certified as a WBE, which stands for Women Business Enterprise, or BE, which stands for Disadvantaged Business Enterprise, or SB, SB stands for um, Small Business Enterprise. And why am I doing that? Because I want to get contracts like this, right? I don't know what that looks like. I have to go through all the work, but I can tell you this. I did list myself 
um, under the Gwinnett County Vendors Program as communication. So if they need outside communication, they need someone to come out and podcast live or whatever. Hopefully they think of me when they go to the Gwinnett County database. But there's a lot of opportunities um, in government for us to, to partner with them, be able to take advantage of some of these uh, money that's floating around. I was at an event last year over um, that was hosted by the Alabama Small Business Development Center. And there was a young lady there. She had like a, a million dollar contract with the government. And this is not unusual. They're out there, but you have to know what to do. Right. You have to know exactly what to do to get these contracts. And there are trainings out there to show you that. So I'm just sharing this with you because there is opportunities for you to do business with the government. And so the the, the, the thing for me is finding out exactly what kind of business I can do with the government because my company is media and marketing. Right. So now I have to find out how can the government use And when I say the government, I'm talking about any local government, federal government. How can I partner with the government to, to utilize my services? There's big money out there in the government and we kind of overlook it because it seems like it's a daunting task. I can tell you this. When I was in Germany, I had a publishing company. And um, there was a big company that got a government contract. They brought my company on for printing services as a subcontractor. So I was able to get a portion of that because I was right there and I did publishing, right? And so it wasn't just printing, it was publishing. So I did publishing. So I had to publish some stuff for them, but they needed a subcontractor. They probably needed a minority subcontractor. And at that time, I had my certifications as a WBE and an MBE for the publishing company. So I'm going to do that again because I know that that stuff works because I've I've done that. And so um, I just want to tell you about that because there are opportunities out there for you to grow your business quickly if you can land a government contract, a government partnership. And they're out there, you know, there's a different kind of certification. It's not playing on the bottom all. And, I, and I'll share them. I'm going to be sharing. I'm going to be doing a bunch of workshops this year about different things to help you grow your business. And that's going to be one of them. So as I learn, I will teach. As I learn, I will teach. So I just wanted to share that story with you. But um, anyway, that contract um, goes to low bidders. Um, so that contract went to eight, what is it? Asdale, Asdale Corporation Associated Paper Inc. at the janitorial, um, company, Inc. Imperial Bag and Paper Company, LLC, DBA, DBA, which means business as Imperial Dade. So these companies were able to get contracts and that was a five, that was a $500,000 contract. Right. Just wanted to share that with you. Put that, you know, think about that for a second, because that could be really beneficial to helping you move your company to the next level. That's one of my goals for this year to land a government contract. Don't know how yet, but I'm working on it. Top of my top of my the top, top, one of the top things on my agenda for the 20. So I'm going to be back right after this song to give you more of the rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. You listen to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. <laughs> You 
So the Gwinnett uh, Police seeking Gwinnett Police is seeking applicants for the Citizens Academy program. I took the um, I took the uh, Gwinnett Citizens Academy one on one program. And I, I thought that was, I, and I've been talking about it since I took it, right? Only because I thought it was such a great great opportunity to learn about how the Gwinnett County government works. Because you know, you get to go out to a bunch of different, um, you get to meet a bunch of different people in a bunch of different departments of the government. And I just thought that was really really cool. So. The Gwinnett City uh, Police Academy is launching and they're looking for you if you want to, you know, take part. Be good. Like if you're, especially if you're thinking about going into law enforcement. If you're thinking about going into law enforcement, this is a great opportunity to go behind the scenes and see exactly what happens. You go behind the scenes, you see what happens on a day-to-day basis. I could tell you that one of the things I love the most about that was getting a chance to go behind the scenes with the police officers and, um, and in real life, you know what? These guys are, they're people too, right? They're people too. Um, because one guy, one, one officer said, he said, you great. Right. Like, wow. You know, that was to me, that was really like, I always, you know, we think of them as a beast. I don't think we really think of them as people, which is kind of sad. They put their lives on the line for us every day. Now, granted, there are some, some that shouldn't be on the force at all. They probably should be in prison. But for the most part, I believe that most of them are really good people. And they go out every day and they're lying for us. And so just to hear him say, you know, afraid too. And I was like, wow, that was that was pretty powerful for me. It gave me a whole new respect for them. So we got a chance to do a simulation where a guy was walking on a knife. And um, and they told us, they said a lot of times when people get shot, they'll say something like, why didn't you just shoot him in the leg? You know, and when you when we did that simulation, I mind you, this was a simulation. Right, it wasn't a real thing, but it felt so real. The it was pumping. We were trying his way, and he was coming at us with a knife, and we had to shoot him in the leg. Well, that was practically impossible. Like we were shooting at the ground, we were shooting all over the place. We could not hit his leg, so that's why they said they always hit. You know, they aim for full body mass because they 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 they're guaranteed to hit something if they aim for the from the stomach or anything like that. So I got a chance to really learn a lot, and um. It, it was it was interesting. It was very interesting to say the least. I, I got a whole nother respect. When I tell you a whole nother respect for what they do, and I know they put their lives on the line all the time, I got a whole nother respect for what they do. I sure did. So if you guys are interested in that, you know, feel free to find out more about that. Um, the Academy is going to be... <sighs> The Academy is going to be February 11th through April the 2nd. It's going to be, it's free. The Academy is free. It's going to be every Tuesday and Thursday. So you're doing two nights. We did one night. Um, every Tuesday and Thursday for approximately nine weeks, 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. So you got to be, um, you got to be able to commit. To it. That's a lot, right? Um, but it was a lot, but I did it. And I, and I met some great, other thing too, I met great people in my class. People that I still hang out with now and associate with right now. So that was pretty cool too. So you get to meet wonderful people. You become a part of this, this, uh, I don't know, I want to say an elite group of people, but you got the alumni. So I'm a part of the Gwinnett Citizens Academy 101 alumni. That's a great thing. Um, but also you got to be at least 18 years of age or older. You got to successfully pass the application process 
and driver and criminal history back uh, history check. Now we didn't have to do all that for the Good Net Citizens Academy, but this is like police stuff. So you got to be able to pass these, you know, the background check, the driver check, and the criminal history and all that stuff. So you got to be able to do that. Attendees will participate in a classroom lecture, police unit demonstrations, practical exercises covering topics like tech stops, firearms training, aviation, court system, K nine. Officer safety, SWAT, detention center, gangs, crime unit, crime scene unit, and a communication center 911. So you're going to get a lot. You're going to get a lot. The application deadline is February 3rd. If you're interested in going through the Gwinnett Citizens, uh, Police, Citizens Police Academy, go to www.tinyurl.com backslash Gwinnett Citizens Police. www.tinyurl.com backslash Gwinnett Citizens Police. All right. Application deadline is February 3rd. Don't wait till the last minute. They only take a certain amount of people. Class start February 11th, run through April the 2nd from 6.30 to 8.30, Tuesday and Thursday. It's going to be approximately nine weeks, so you need to commit to that as well. Don't take up a slot if you know you can't commit. If you know that you're going to have a problem committing, then don't take up a slot. Let somebody else have a slot, please. Just don't do it because it is limited. They can't take everybody. They want to take people, but they can't take everything in our class. They could only take. That was a big class, right? It was nice though. It was re- oh, so we got uh, a mock jury trial, and I was like, um, I was one of the the, uh, the the attorneys, so I thought that was pretty funny. Um, I forgot what our guy did. He did something. He he was um he was he did something, and I for, I forgot what it was, but it was hilarious. Like I had a good time doing it because it was funny. And we had to, we had to, it was a real case, like a real case. Like they gave us an example of a real case and we had to go in there and, and present our case to the, to the judge. It was a real judge. She was a real judge. We had to present our case, a uh, case to the judge. And, <laughs> and when I tell you that was funny, it was funny. And, and he was a, he was a, he was a mess, right? He was a mess. And, and, but you know, I was I went to school to be a par so I went to school for a couple of different things but I went to school to be a paralegal and um yeah I I I got a chance to go to court sometimes I also did jury duty one time in my life which that right there will make me want to choke somebody because and, and I'm gonna I'm, I know I'm digressing but I gotta tell you a little bit about this jury duty pro uh thing I went through so I went to jury duty and when I went to jury duty there was a the case was about an officer. Now, now, follow me. Follow me on this. The case was about an officer. It was in December. So the officer lived in a town called Dover. Dover was like West New Jersey, like Northwest New Jersey. It was up, up. It wasn't close. It wasn't close to Newark at all. To get to Dover, to get to Newark from Dover was about an hour's drive, right? This was in December. The officer decided he wanted to come down to Newark, New Jersey, right? He wanted to come down to New Jersey and buy some hot dogs off of this off of a street called Avon Avenue. I'm not gonna forget this because this was the craziest thing I had ever heard. And I could not believe that people believed him. Right? So I grew up in North. So I knew exactly what Avon Avenue was. I knew what was down on Avon Avenue, which is not a lot of good, right? And he came from Dover to Avon Avenue in December, very cold in New Jersey in December, very, very cold, very cold on a Sunday. So, you, okay, so I'm just going to walk you through the story. So he drove from Dover, that's the suburbs, an hour away from Newark on a cold Sunday morning to come down to Newark to Avon Avenue, which is really like the hood. I grew up in Newark, so I know, to buy some hot dogs. And while he was down there buying the hot dogs, somebody walked up on him with the mask and took his gun that didn't have any bullets in it. Okay, so you follow me? The gun didn't have any bullets in it. They took his gun and they ran. Okay, so let me paint projects. This was a huge, think about a project. 18 floors, a group of buildings that had like 18 floors in the middle of the hood and this person ran into the projects into somebody's house on one of the top floors and he hid the gun in a in a basket of dirty clothes and someone put the dirty clothes out on the fire escape now this cop who drove one hour from dover 
which is the suburbs of New Jersey, on December, on a Sunday morning, to go down to Newark, to Avon Avenue, to buy some hot dogs. He didn't put any gun, any bullets in his gun. Okay, so just to put you, the store that he was going to, we all we all shop at that store. It's closed on Sundays. So let me just put that out there too. We all shopped at that store. My mother went to that store. She bought her base for her stuffing. That's where you go to buy the base for your stuffing because they got all they and they sell hot dogs in bulk. So just to be, just full disclosure, they sell stuff in bulk. You know, you go there, you buy stuff in bulk. You buy things that you can't buy at the regular grocery store. But here's the thing: they close on Sundays, right? So he went there to buy the hot dogs on Sunday morning, December. It's cold, and when he got there. Someone came up on him and took his gun. They ain't take nothing but his gun, which had no bullets. And they ran into the projects up on, let's say, the 13th floor. And they ran into somebody's apartment. And there's a lot of apartments on one floor, probably like 12. He ran into one of the apartments on the 13th floor. And he hid, hid the gun in the clothes basket and set the basket out on the, on, the, on the fire escape. The cop was able to come up into the projects where there are hundreds, if not thousands of units. Go is go to directly to the floor where this guy ran. Find his gun on the balcony in a clothes basket. Now this is the jury duty case I was on, and people were like, "Yes." I was like, "Are you kidding me? You got to be kidding me! You can't possibly believe that story." They did. They believed that story. We had a hung jury. I want to punch some of the people. Like, you have got to be kidding me! You can't believe that story. That's that's a crazy story. I just had to share that story with you guys because that's how I was like, that's crazy. But anyway, I know that was totally off, off subject, but I wanted to share that with you. That was one of my crazy jury duty stories. I've never done jury duty after that. I've never, I I, I was like, oh my God, they're going to have me locked up in here because people did not judge by the facts, you know, and I'm saying to myself, that is the craziest story ever. Maybe I had too many facts. Maybe that's what it was because I lived there. I knew about it. So the story he was saying was totally stupid. And I think somebody even said, okay, I was making eye contact with the um with this with the with the suspect, the offender. I was like, man, I was gonna be asleep. I knew I was, because I remember somebody like nudging me, because I was like, this is the dumbest thing ever. Like these people are dumb as doorknobs if they believe that stupid story. And they did. Anyway, I just had to tell you that story. I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more of the rundown about what's going on in Gwinnett County. Say something meaningful. Say something I don't know. I want to know you better. The way that you talk to me. That you make me feel I don't know if you're real I wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you make me feel right Wanna look at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you know Till my lungs give out your beautiful Till my life. 
lungs give out your beautiful Wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night, all night I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful Back to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. It's your girl, Audrey Bell, giving you the daily rundown of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So, I got a chance to visit Coney Island when I was a little girl. Oh, I wasn't a little girl. I was probably like a teenager. Um, and it was really a, a really cool experience. Like, um, there is a traveling exhibit of Coney Island um, here at the Gwinnett Admiral. Gwinnett Environmental and Heritage 2020 Clean Water Drive in Buford. I had the opportunity to go. It was really, really nice. I think we went on like a field trip or something, like a summer trip. Like in Jersey, um, if you went to the park during the summertime, you got to go on different trips. I know I was a teenager because I was a little girl. I was still living in Georgia. So when I moved to Jersey, I was 12. So I think I went when I was about 14 to Coney Island. But it was really cool, but they got an exhibit. So if you want to check out the exhibit, it's going to be on the display from um, now until March the 16th at the Gwinnett Environmental and Heritage Center located at 2020 Clean Water Drive in Buford. The, ex- the exhibit adapted um, from Wildsworth Anthem Museum of Arts ex- Exhibition, Coney Island, Visions of an American Dreamland from 1861 to 2008. It investigates the rise of American leisure and traces Coney Island's influence on amusement parks and popular culture throughout the country the exhibit includes photographs um film clips and information and fun hand fun fun hand-on activities for adults and children so you want to check that out go on over to the Gwinnett Environmental and Heritage Center located at 2020 Clean Water Drive for more information you can visit the website www.tinyurl.com backslash Gwinnett EHC tinyurl.com backslash Gwinnett EHC admission is free I'm sure you're going to find it pretty fascinating I think that's the first time I had a corn dog at Coney Island yep I think that's the first time I ate a corn dog at Coney Island so check it out you're you're probably going to really enjoy the exhibit nothing like the real Coney Island Coney Island is in in New York for those of you who don't know Coney Island is in, in New York um, nothing like the real Coney Island, but if you don't, you know, if you never get a chance to go there, at least go visit the exhibit and get a look, get a peep behind the scenes of what it looked like. Yep. All right. So Iris and Roy John, uh, Johansson at Peachtree Corner City Hall, they're going to be there tonight. Investigator Kendra Michaels, whose former blindness has left her with uniquely insightful observation skills, must put her life on, on the line to catch a terrifying murderer. That's a book, y'all. <laughs> That's a book presented by Gwinnett Public Li- Gwinnett County Public Library. Meet Iris and Roy Johansson tonight, 7.30 p.m. at Peachtree Corner City Hall, um, room 310. I mean, located at 310 Technology Parkway, Northwest and that's in Peachtree Corners. Free and open to the public, books for sale and signing. Guests are welcome to bring the book to the event so they can get a sign. But those who... Um, who purchase it from the bookseller at the event will have their books autographed first. So if you, if you already have the book by them, it's called Hindsight. Iris Johansson and Roy Johansson, they're going to be doing book signings tonight, 7.30 to 8.30 at the Peachtree Corner City Hall. And that's located at 310 Technology Parkway, Peachtree Corners, Georgia. If you have your book already, you can bring it out and get it signed. But people who buy their books tonight get the first um Get their book signed first. So, check it out. I like book signings. I do. I don't read a lot of. I don't read a lot of mystery books. I don't read a lot of any of that kind of stuff. I don't know. I read a lot of business books, and I'm trying to read more of those, but I'm just running out of time because I just I'm so I'm so busy. 
I got about five books that's on my on my nightstand that I need to read. I'm working on them though. I am working on them. All right, so listen, I'm going to my last song. I'll be back after this song to give you my inspiration for the day. Stay tuned. So listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. But before I go, I want to give you a little bit of words of inspiration or something to think about at least. So my inspiration for the day is the best and the most, the best and the most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt in, within the heart. Let me say that again. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt within the heart. Helen Keller said that and she was right. Let me tell you something. Actions speak louder than words, but if you don't feel it in your heart, it means nothing. You can say anything you want to say to anybody you want to say it to, but if that person you're saying it to don't feel it in their heart, it means nothing. And when they feel it in their heart, it means everything because they feel like it's sincere. They feel like it came from a place of love and they feel it is for real. But when you say stuff and your actions do one thing and your, and your words say another thing and they don't feel it in their heart, you're wasting your time. So when you say when you say something, say something that you're going to mean. Say something that's going to touch somebody's heart. Let your actions and your words look the same. Don't let your actions look one way and your words look another way. That's not a, that's not going to be heartfelt. I'm going to tell you that right now. 
if your words say one thing, your actions say something totally different, nothing in that is going to be heartfelt. I don't care how hard, how many times you say it. I don't care what you do. If the two don't go together, the heart is not going to feel it. So make sure that you say things and you do things that are heartfelt because that means everything in the world. So I got for you today. Thank you again for listening. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent it with me and I appreciate you so much. If you miss an episode of the show, please be sure to go to goodmorninggwinnett.com and listen to past episodes. Also, do me a favor. Download the app from the App Store. There's an app in the App Store on the Google Play Store. The Good Money Gwinnett app is in the Apple Play Store. Download the app. Got some great things coming for you. Got some great people coming down the pike. So be sure to listen in. Launching some new shows. Um, coming down the coming down the pike. I'm, I'm going to be launching a show called Noisemakers. I'm excited about that. That's going to be a video show and a podcast. So it's going to be on television. We're going to have our own Roku channel and our own Amazon Fire channel for Noisemakers. And Noisemakers, we're the entrepreneurs. We're the community leaders. We're the ones that get get ish done. I forgot to listen. This is a family show. We don't. We get it done. That's what Noisemaker do. We don't just talk about it. We be about it. We don't walk the walk. We talk the talk. We do both. That's what we do. So, listen, I'll be back again tomorrow at 9 a.m., God willing. Be sure to like the show on Instagram, under Good Morning Gwinnett, on Facebook, under Good Morning Gwinnett, and also on Twitter at GM Gwinnett. Thank you again for listening. Until next time, y'all, make it a great day. Bye now. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in daily at 9 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you miss an episode, go to www.goodmorninggwinnett.com to catch up. If you like this episode, go ahead and subscribe to the show now and share it with your friends.